Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full tutorial on this smoky cat eye sassy look that I posted on Instagram. I had so many requests to do a tutorial on this look and it is much different than how I've done my eye makeup recently or just in general. And my friends over at Makeup Forever asked me to try out one of their new foundations which is the Matte Velvet Skin and I tried it out and I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna be basically showing it off to you guys today. Huge fan of the brand. I've been a huge fan for a very long time. So I was very excited and very flattered that they wanted to partner with me on this video. It is 24 hour wear. I don't test that. I don't plan on testing that, but I can tell you that it is a very long wearing foundation, especially this summer. I have like normal to combination skin. I do get very oily in my T-zone, but especially this summer, it's been so effing hot, like 105, 110. It's been really, really hot. So wearing a matte foundation has really been coming through for me. It looks really good on the skin. A lot of the times I feel like matte foundations end up looking very like powdery and not skin-like, but this one has a very skin-like vibe to it, if that makes sense without sounding creepy, you know, like skin-like foundation. And another great thing about this foundation, it's available in 40 shades, which we love. Super exciting, they have a really great shade range. So I'm gonna be doing the cat eye smoky look for you guys today. I'm gonna try and zoom in as close as possible so you can really see what's going on in there. And I'm gonna be featuring the Makeup Forever new Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. So here we go. This is the ColourPop Concealer. I'm just using this as an eyeshadow base. Already carved out my brows. Got a little concealer on my face already, you know. I'm prepped and primed here. Okay, when I did this look, I was in my kitchen. Okay, which I think I, I kind of feel like I need to start doing makeup in my kitchen more often. I feel like it kind of got my juices going. So when I did this look the first time, I feel like I used several different palettes. I think I used uh, the Huda Beauty palette Suede, that grayish taupey color in there. Even though Desi says I don't wear taupes. I bought this uh, makeup brush cleanser last time I was at Nimi's and I haven't decided how I feel about it yet. It's the Japanese one. It kind of leaves a little bit of an oily residue behind and I just don't know how I feel about it yet, but it works really well. But it also has one of those spritzes where when you spray it, like the mist, it feels like it enters your soul. I feel it like back here in the back of my throat and it kind of feels like I'm gonna die. But as you can tell, it works very well. <laughs> I used a bunch of different palettes when I did this look, but I'm gonna try and stick in one palette today. This is the Milani Soft and Sultry palette, which I just recently got and I said, oh, we're feeling a little taupey here, aren't we? This shade is called Tantation. So I'm gonna take that with a really fluffy brush. It's not gonna be a very dark crease. It's more of just a shadow crease and we're really gonna go in on the liner. So I'm going to build right here up in the socket right in the brow bone and straight down into the crease like so the smell of this brush cleanser is like really truly inside me right now it's part of me when i used to do my makeup i try and keep it like clean right here but now i'm just like i'll just clean it up with a makeup wipe after you know wow katie you're so crazy next step is to deepen up the crease a bit more i'm gonna go this color which is smoking hot I'm really feeling the names of these. All right, and this is a smaller round brush that I'm using and I'm gonna be doing the same thing way up here and straight down. You wanna bring the crease a little bit higher so that way you have more space for eyeliner, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna go ahead straight into the liner. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more crease color up here, but I like to wait until most of the liner is added so that way I can kind of see what's going on. But like I said, you don't want the crease too dark on this one because you want the focus to be on the eyeliner. So now I'm gonna take a stick. This is like a stick eye color, cream eye color. You can use, you know, whatever you want for the actual eyeliner part. I like to use a cream eye color because I feel like once I add shadow on top of it, it gets even darker and I, I don't know. I just feel like it's a vibe. It's just a vibe. This one's from Laura Mercier and this is the shade Smoke. I believe this is a really, really dark gray, but uh, something like this is really good. So I'm gonna take this on the outer half of the eye. And the reason I like to do this too is because my eye shape is very, meow, meow. I think of like a precious moments shape eyeball for some reason. So that's why I always like to do some type of flare. I have been doing more round eye looks lately though, I feel like but this is what I like to do. So I take it like that. And then this is a flat edge brush. This is from e.l.f. I love, love this brush. And then I just kind of 
work it. Like Missy Elliott. Mm -hmm. Just kind of buff it around like so. I even do it up onto the inner corner, which typically most days I don't really go there. Even though I'm only doing the top lid, I like to factor in the lower lash line so I know my lower lash line smoke is gonna come into like way down here. So I'm not gonna stop the wing up here and go like that. I'm bringing it lower if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna take it out a little bit with the brush. I know I told you guys before, but I envy people that have like smooth ass lids. This is just kind of like the base of what I like to do and then I add the shadow on top of it. But this gives me a good guide. You know, I need a guide these days, you guys. I can't just be going in here, okay? So now I'm gonna take, actually these three shadows at the bottom are kind of perfect for this. So I'm gonna start with black and pat it on top, really building up on the lash line. And now we're just kind of like smoking out this wing situation. There we go, patting it on top of the cream and then now I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and the next shade, which is Untamed, and start smoking it on top of the black shadow. And after that, I'm gonna go with this one right here. Next lighter shade, I believe this is the one I used in the crease, I already forgot, right on top of that. And I'm gonna clean this up too, but and then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe. So now it goes up more at an angle. You can also use tape for this, but sometimes I don't feel like taping my face. All right, so we got it kind of smoked out here. I'm definitely gonna be adding some more, but I know that I want to add more crease because if I don't, I'll have little froggy eyes. And yes, I know I'm part of myself. I'm gonna take this color, which I feel like is a little bit dark, but I'm just gonna dust off the excess creates a little bit of a wider eye, I think. Almost like cutting the crease here. Just right there. There we go. All right, and now I'm just continuing to build on the liner. It's almost going up like the whole lid. But that's why you wanna add this crease color a little bit higher so you have a little bit more space. I'm gonna tight line with a black liner. This is M10 Aqua XL Pencil from Makeup Forever. I definitely have to tight line, especially after getting lash extensions. Yeah, I lost a lot of lashes after that experience. I, know, I feel like everybody says you don't, but you do. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, everybody's like, no, it just feels like you don't have a lot after you take them off, but I think there's sparkle in that Laura Mercier pencil that I used. Um, yeah, 100%, okay, cool. Uh, I would ideally use a matte pencil. I can see it now that it's like blended out, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not that serious. Uh, I'm just gonna put some mascara on. The lashes were a key factor in the cattiness of this look. These, they're super long, very, very long, very dramatic, come on. They're Lily Lashes in the style Carmel. I don't like lashes to go all the way to my inner corner because I, I just, I can't, I physically cannot. So here's what the lash looks like uh, without it being trimmed. Literally goes from corner to corner. I will die. I don't know how people wear lashes that long on the inner corner. It literally just makes me wanna destroy something. So I'm gonna trim this whole outer chunk off. Don't look at my nails. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. Not a whole chunk, but I'm gonna cut off half a chunk. This much more. I don't know if you guys saw my video with Desi, but my lashes, not only were my eyes hella wonky because, you know, certain things happening, but one of my lashes was like, girl, it was a mess. And I swear it's because somebody was talking to me. I don't know if you caught that. They were trying to get me to take a shot while I was applying my lashes. So I blame them. All right, so now for, I'm gonna do the under eyes. Lately, I have been doing my lower lash line before I do my foundation. I end up touching it up anyway, but I still like doing it before. So I just had a little bit of the ColourPop concealer as an eyeshadow base. This probably looks really weird. And then just kind of buff it out. And now it is time to go in on the lower lash line. And I like to start with the lightest color that I use, which is this one, and bring it way down here. I feel like doing this step before I finish the rest of my face, like 
I feel so much better after I'm done with my foundation, you know? Like I don't have to go back and do eyeshadow again. And then this color here. I don't know if you can tell, but this, you see how I brought the wing like way down here instead of having it up here. So that way the lower liner could connect here. All right, so I'm gonna stop there, but I am gonna go in with this shade and kind of dust over it. I know when I when I did this look, like it definitely looks like more of a black eyeshadow, black and brown at this current moment. I think it was a little bit more mauve last time I did it, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of the bone and this color, bear it all and in the buff. And with this brush, this is a Real Techniques defining brush, take this and kind of carve the inner corner to go into that upper crease area we created. That'll also kind of open up the eye a little bit more. Same black pencil. We're going into the waterline. Back with that e.l.f. flat brush. Set the waterline with matte black shadow and also stipple it into the lash line so you don't see any little gaps in there. So it's really good if you wear contact lenses. And then here, because my eye kind of comes up, I like to connect this with black eyeshadow. Makes it look a little bit more cat eye-ish right here. Now it's time for the face, and I'm using the Matte Velvet Skin Foundation from Makeup Forever, one of their newest foundation products. And I'm using the shade Y315, so it has a yellow undertone, and I like to apply it with a brush. So I'm just gonna be stippling it on, and I like to start in the center of the face and kind of work my way out. I feel like sometimes matte foundations tend to go on my skin a little bit patchy, but this one doesn't at all. It goes on really, really nicely, blends nicely. All right, and here is one layer of foundation all over the skin. I had a little bit of my Bye Bye Under Eye on, that's why it looks really shiny under my eyes. I was pre-concealed before I started filming. But as you can see, it has a matte finish, but it's not like an unrealistic matte. It's just a really nice looking finish to the skin. I didn't put any here because I'm gonna put concealer there anyway. Really love the finish of this foundation. If you like matte, I definitely recommend that you give it a try. They have it at Sephora, in case you guys are wondering. It looks good, it feels good on the skin, and I didn't have to touch up my nose throughout the day, so that was uh, kind of a miracle. <laughs> All right, so I'm using the shade Light Medium Beige Shape Tape for highlighting here. And we're going, we're going bright today. I'm gonna start with less and add more, okay? Matte skin and a really bright under eye is just like a vibe, you know? I'm just like, yes, give it to me. Give it all to me. It's time for the kick in the pants. I'm gonna take a really bright concealer. I like to use this just on the inner corner. I feel like it lifts the inner corner and it's just gonna make the eyes really stand out. So I'm just gonna take some here. This is the shade Light Neutral and here. See how bright that is? Boom. Now it's business as usual with translucent powder, just right on the under eyes. Go, just a little bit so it doesn't crease. And then I like to add some glow. And for glow today, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. This looks really good on a matte foundation. And just add it right here. This is like before I really start powdering my face, but it just adds such a pretty glow. I'm not adding it all over my whole forehead, but it's giving me a little bit of highlight in areas that I would like just a little bit more shine. But this kind of gives you like that glow from within kind of vibe, you know? To sculpt and bronze, I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick. This is the shade Truff Truffle, which is pretty bronzy. So I use it very lightly. I like to use it with a setting brush. This is from Real Techniques. Just a little fluffy brush. I take a little bit of this. I use this to contour and I've actually been using it to bronze a little bit too. So take it. I'm just so cream products right now, just so many creams, you guys. So I'm just hitting it in the contour and swirling it upward. So there's sculpted, not sculpted, sculpted, not sculpted. Sometimes this goes well for me when I do it on my forehead, sometimes it doesn't, but really light hand, just buff it in like a bronzer. Honestly, I need a headband. 
This is ridiculous. Ever since Priscilla did my makeup, I'm just like all about these matchsticks. A little bit of rum. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. This is the bronzy one, by the way, as you can see, exhibit A. Very, very bronzy. I'm gonna take a little bit of blush. This is the blush that I said Desi would throw up if she saw it because it's like a cool tone, light pink blush. This is the shade Loves Me Not from NARS. Just gonna add it right here on top. It's got a little bit of sheen in it too. And now I'm gonna take a little bit more of translucent setting powder. Finish setting the under eye area. Now that I'm done with all the powder, the, or the layers of cream. Layers and layers of creams. Now I get to do my favorite part. I just, every time I do my makeup, I get so excited to do this part. Cause I feel like it just connects the eyeshadow with everything else going on in the face. I'm um, taking some bronzer and connecting here. I like to brush it up into the brow. Trying very carefully not to remove any brow. All right, let me show you guys the last little kick in the pants for the bright under eyes. I feel like this is what really kicked it up a notch. I took some of, this is the Monica Dar Brightening Powder. It's a really, really bright powder. I mean, you could use any full coverage brightening powder that you want. I took some of that with a beauty blender and I just, like that right there, and I just put it right here and tapped it on the inner corner. I feel like that took it up a notch. Hella coats of mascara on the lower lashes. Bump them up as much as you can. Okay, now onto the lip. This is definitely a nude lip kind of look for sure. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. I am truly obsessed with these. I love them so much. This shade Wherever Walnut I've been wearing so often lately in combination with this one, which is Total Taupe. This one's really dramatic on me, but there's also Anywhere Caffeine. This color is really pretty too. Overlining the Cupid's bow. I haven't done a sharp Cupid's bow in a minute. So that is Wherever Walnut. And then I take the taupe color and I accent the outer corners here and I just take it. I kind of put the pencil on its side like that. And then I also do it right here just on top, I'm like trying to talk on else does. Just on the top of the Cupid's bow, um, just a little bit on the top. I don't do it on the bottom because I have a pretty big lower lip already. I don't need any shadows underneath my lower lip. If you know. Now for the actual lipstick color, I'm gonna use two different shades. This is a KKW lipstick from her nude collection. This is number three. Mine melted a little bit. That's how hot it was, okay? When my AC was out, so much of my makeup melted. And I'm doing it like on the outer, corners and bringing it in. And I like this color because it's a more kind of um, neutral, almost leaning on cool, almost there. And then I take a lighter nude lipstick. This is No Shade from our Dose of Colors collection. And I pat it all the way up into the cubist bow. A little bit down here, just in like the center. So I leave the outer corners a little bit darker. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of gloss. This is the KKW Super Nude. I'm just gonna tap this in the center. So that wraps up this makeup look. We're catty, we're matte, we're glossy. We're all of the things. I loved filming this makeup tutorial. Thank you Makeup Forever for letting me show off your new foundation. I really love it. Look at how good it looks, okay? I'm feeling it, you guys. Let me know what you guys think if you tried it already. I'm such a huge fan of their Ultra HD foundation, so I was really excited that they had another new foundation coming out. So that wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you so much for watching. And outro. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye. See you later. Peace. Gotta go. I never know how to wrap it up. Never do. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm trying? Shit in my eye. All right, I don't know. <laughs> All my brushes are hot pink. Okay, let me clean them. <laughs> I used that palette. I honestly don't even remember what the fuck I used. Actually, now that we're here, don't remember what I used.